what's up guys welcome back to my channel so i have got another reaction for some news bloopers this one is the best news bloopers of may 2021 let's check this out the 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 that's all folks with over a million ballots cast before the doors hello there <laughs> Live in Winter Heights, Marcus McIntosh, KC's I Eight News. Excuse me. I I was the, sorry. No. I was the news leader. You okay? <laughs> Things happen in studio. Punched the heck out yeah, of Yeah, are you really okay? Okay, she's good. Coming up, the province hit record. Hello? Hi, <laughs> <I'm> right here. <laughs> Five days for leave related to COVID-19. That includes time off mm. for testing, vaccinations, self-isolation, and caring for loved ones. <laughs> Massachusetts face covering <laughs> order is coming to an end next weekend, and there's a horn beeping behind me, which is somewhat annoying. I'll have to wait until that stops to finish this tease. Oh, on traffic, oh, here's Jess. Wait. That's funny. Like, do we... <laughs> I mean, do we address it? Yeah, oh, we address it. What? Yeah, we do. Hey, come on in, Mel. There you go. <laughs> Doing commuter traffic with me. It is 7.09 here on this Thursday morning. And good morning, Elise. Oh, <laughs> I was surprised, too. No. I thought it was just going to be me. But, uh, hey, Joanne. You know, thanks for being there for your moral support. I'm I so appreciate sorry. it. <laughs> Let me pick this up from here. Did I? I didn't just plant a seed, did I? Ice cream. I just planned to see my <laughs> great ice cream maybe? isolated ice cream. I just planted a seed in my own mind. An ice cream shower on Thursday. Oh my god! Looking ahead to some toasty temperatures ice cream heading your wish. way. Barely enough to cause the wipers to be turned on or the umbrella. Ashfield, Mansfield, Ashfield. That's a new one. That's a mix <laughs> between Mansfield and Ashfield. It's a new. It's a new little town there, right off the seventy-one. What about Mansland? Right, that works too. Mansland. Ashfield, that's bad. Chief Meteorologist Dominus Brown joining us now with details on this forecast. Dominus, <laughs> well, you were there. Wait, there you go. Come come on, just walk back. away. <laughs> You're like, I, I don't want to be the bearer of uh, news when it comes to 100 degree temperatures, <laughs> but that could be a possibility. Elle aussi le délitement de la France, mais aussi le risque d'une guerre civile. Les signataires seraient des militaires d'actifs et non pas terrorisés. Mais nous n'avons pas les noms. Ils sont, pardon, ils sont restés anonymes. La ministre des Armées, Florence Parly, a dénoncé une grosse agitation politique. Pardon. Bună seara, Valentin, din această seară programul teraselor va fi ceva mai lung, adică până la ora 21, la fel și în cazul programului magazinelor, care până weekendul trecut se închideau la ora 18. În plus, tot din această seară, oamenii pot circula liber și fără o declarație pe proprie răspundere până la ora 10. Sunt așadar efectele relaxate. Here's a look at your 7 day forecast. Good chance of rain and cooler temperatures Monday night in through Tuesday. Remember, the last thing I said. Triple D's, triple digits. They're gonna get. They're gonna get. No, 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 Excuse no, no, no. Don't go there. Me, Don't go there. Ninety-eight degrees you on there. Friday. We are getting so close to triple digits. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get a check on that forecast because the radar has been pretty active over the last few days. Uh, the good news is that there's no longer a threat in the Gulf, but I, uh, I was about to call you Isaiah my son's name. <laughs> but Steven. It's great. These are the best times to watch local news because we're adjusting after working from home. I'm here for Oh, boy. It. <laughs> yeah, used to calling the kids. Um, Steven. <laughs> Still seeing delays, but a lot better than what it was here. Oh, come on, oh, Sarah. Not again. Oh, you know, we finally got to see. Oh, this would uh, be a good opportunity, you guys. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, do your silhouette thing. That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, everyone oh, just dan dance. Get weird. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> we have got a fun little pinata yeah. here. We are not going to take the stick and whack it open because that is just dangerous, <laughs> but... We've got a little handle here to pull. We're not sure what's inside, so it's going to be a... Uh, are you going to be... When I pull, are you going to be able to hold it? I think so. Muscles? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, wow. That <laughs> work. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I we'll get to you about let it. you know after the break.
<laughs> Mexican fiesta. Mm. Looks good. Let's go. Yeah. It looks Cerveza y margarita mm. también forever. <laughs> Gracias. I love that once a year or twice a year, every single year, we are subjected to Brandon Spanish. I You're love it. lucky it's not St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in a moment with today's stories to watch for. Stay with us, everybody. <laughs> the number one way to prevent drownings on the lake is to wear one of these. <laughs> that was close. Oh, yeah, that wind is brutal. Is to wear one of these. Okay. I just see it come flying at me. I won't laugh. Okay, three, two. Let me just look. Oh though. my let, god. Let me look this one. <laughs> I don't want it to look too comical. <laughs> failure to offer sick pay has perhaps been the most monstrous failure of this government's response to the virus throughout. So, in terms of the options. <laughs> Uh, there's the, this, it's, it's nice to see her. I, we, we are ruining our evening by keeping her dad up talking to us on the telly. What's her name? Now you've introduced that her. That is Annie, and she's very excited. She's very excited because it's been Leicester City Day at school ah, yeah, today. Of and That's we've got the Leicester City in the cup final tomorrow. So, Leicester City. Absolutely, right. right. The plug's over for the football now. <laughs> uh, thank you, Annie. Bye. Um, I'll tell you what we will have now. We have who has the best gas? Uh, well, not the best gas, just the gas. And who has the best Who gas? have? Wait, what? Is we it have, just... who has? Why don't you just say who has the best gas? Okay. And the, or who has gas and the best prices? <laughs> <laughs> who has the best gas? Who has gas? <laughs> we uh, have who has. It's... Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> that sounds... The stations who have gas. Yes, yes. And the best prices. Yes, yes, yes. All right. <laughs> Three. This is going to go well. Three, two, one. The pipeline is open. We have the stations who have gas. Nope. <laughs> Still no. The stations That's that so have gas. That's so Oops. Well, that's, that's a natural one. I might back on you. I'll just tell uh, you know, a little uh, bathroom break. Yeah, that looks nice. Here. The back well, there. I wish I was on a huge right now. Wait a minute. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Here we go. This is live TV. This Look at this guy. TV. This is this, this. I'm an anchor and also I'm a... I should have you do the weather right I'm now. assistant to the weather guy. The good there news is maybe, maybe the boss isn't watching because it's so early, right? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Makes it kind of fun. Makes it kind of fun, right? For you to watch me go through this. <laughs> 80 by heavy, 80 Fort Lauderdale sounds so, sound so much better in my ear. Nice. I knew right away we were in trouble, right? Okay, here we go. If you are going to be out on the water this summer, which I'm sure are many of you that <laughs> are watching this morning with all the lakes we have around the metro area, state health officials want you to watch out for foam, apparently. Yeah, they issued their yearly warning on Thursday, asking people to avoid contact with foam on lakes and rivers. Uh, they say that it might have unknown chemicals or bacteria in it. Dangerous foam tends to be bright white and it might pile up like shaving cream on the shoreline. If you do make contact with the foam, rinse it off or wash it immediately. Moral of the story here, just stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. <laughs> that was so corny. He probably feels really proud of that extending joke. Extending its party ban. Well, an Iowa man forced to change careers due to the pandemic is making the best of it. Chris James started Buffalo Brew Coffee Roasting out of his basement in November. Once an order is bagged up and ready to go, he then hops on his bike and rolls from delivery to delivery. But James also brings along his nearly 11-year-old pug, Sushi, right there. She has difficulty Aww. moving her hind legs. Name is Sushi. <laughs> and is blind. <laughs> Accepting a popular cryptocurrency as payment for an upcoming moon mission. 
Well, the Geometric Energy Corporation said it paid SpaceX in Dogecoin, right? Did I say that right? Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Doge. They got all these new coins now. Dogecoin Doge to secure a spot for it. Wait, I'm still not saying it right. Doge. 88 pounds. <laughs> For an 88-pound satellite on a mission called Deutsch One, <laughs> it's expected to take off in early 2022. It's going to obtain lunar spatial intelligence from sensors and cameras. Deutsch Coin is a Doge. digital currency. <laughs> now that's <laughs> bothering me because he's not saying it right. <laughs> oh, do do coin. Do. Anyway, oh two software engineers did this thing. They did it in 2013 as a joke. Well, the joke's on me now. Now that's one of the most popular <laughs> cryptocurrencies in the market. There you go. Say it, Tyler. <laughs> Dogecoin. Camille, did he say it right? Yes. Okay. He said yes, he, he did. did. He said it right. Yes. All right. <laughs> 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 But across this host nation, there is a growing concern about the wisdom or otherwise of pushing on the world's biggest televised singing competition designed to unite a continent on one stage at a time of COVID-19 and when there are currently an average of 5,000 new infections reported every day here in the Netherlands. <laughs> it's awkward. But there's growing concern across this host nation about the wisdom or otherwise of putting on the world's biggest televised singing competition designed to unite a continent on one stage at a time of COVID-19 and where there are currently an average of approximately 5,000 new That's infections reported every day here in the Netherlands. Like she doesn't care that her mom's working right now. <laughs> These latest two tests are evidence Eurovision is not immune. Anna Holligan, BBC News, in the Hague. <laughs> That is too funny. You know, it's interesting that now, you know, seeing these news bloopers, it's it's crazy how we've we've had to all work from home and to see parents having to now figure out how to go back to work without being able to have their kids in school and things like that. And it's like, you got to bring your kids to school. <laughs> and I mean, you got to bring your kids to work. And that's what happens. <laughs> that was too cute, though. This was good. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed these bloopers and if you enjoyed my reaction to it. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, hit like and share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later.